Danielle, first of all, it's a pleasure for me to have the opportunity to interview you. Thank you very much for accepting my invitation. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So considering the endocannabinoid system, mm -hmm. can you tell us about the importance of it in our body? Oh, it does all sort of things. You know, nobody would have expected, really, from what THC does, from what uh, cannabis does to people who use it, would have expected to have such pervasive effects in the body. Mm -hmm. But in the brain, what we know that they do, and um, depends on the endocannabinoid. So, for example, there are two endocannabinoids that are best known. Uh, we, we mentioned them before, anandamide and 2-AG. So, anandamide is um, probably not well known from a biochemical perspective. We don't understand it fully, but we know what it does functionally. It's, in very, it's very important in social behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, in animals that are not sub sub subjected to stress, or also probably in people who are not stressed, the role of an anandamide is to actually um, facilitate social behavior, making uh, social interactions more rewarding, more pleasurable. Mm -hmm. When stress comes into the picture, then an anandamide plays a different role. What it does, it helps us cope with the stressful uh, s state in which it we are. It, it makes organisms more capable of reacting to uh, uh, stressful situations, both from a behavioral standpoint and a physiological standpoint. So with an anandamide, we have social behavior, mm -hmm. social reward, and stress control. With 2AG, is a little bit different because 2AG is, um, um, is really quite uh, uh, pervasive in the brain. It is whereas an anandamide has got more of a localized uh, action, 2AG is present almost in every single neuron, is produced in almost every single neuron, and plays a role in the basic mechanism through which uh, cells communicate with one another. Yeah. So uh, because of this, it is harder to understand you know, the effects the of proper the, whole, like the proper the, function. Yeah. And probably the proper function, th there is no such a thing because it does so many different things in subtle ways. Mm -hmm. But if I had to pinpoint one particular function, they would be uh, feeding regulation. I think uh, in the hypothalamus, mm -hmm. which is a part of the brain that is involved in energy patrol, mm -hmm. so how much energy, how much food we eat and how we consume it in mm -hmm. the body, mm -hmm. um, 2AG is very, very important in, uh, in regulating that. And outside the, uh, the brain, cannabinoid receptors do a variety of different things. They control pain uh, before the pain signal enters the spinal cord, mm -hmm. which is the first, in the central nervous system, the first place pain goes through, and then it goes up to the brain. Mm -hmm. So control the entry of pain, uh, of pain signals into the uh, spinal cord. It controls feeding outside the brain. Wow. There is very strong evidence that the feeding effect of cannabinoids is not just in the hypothalamus, as I said before, but also, and maybe even primarily, in the, in the, the gut. In the gut, right. It controls uh, obesity, and that's an, a very, wow. very interesting this thing. very interesting. A very, very interesting thing. So the, these cells in uh, the so-called adipocytes, which are the cells in, in our fat, uh, have cannabinoid receptors, they have the endocannabinoid system, and what the system does, it helps um, uh, our uh, fat cells to store uh, fat, to store energy. So when um, the receptor is activated, fat cells become fatter. Uh, in fact, if you look at the overall function of the uh, endocannabinoid system, both in the brain and outside the brain, one thing that we did not expect at all was that one of the primary role in the body of the endocannabinoid system is the control of energy balance. Mm -hmm. What do you think uh, are the potential benefits and risks related to the treatment with medical cannabis? Well, you know, there are a lot of uh, potential benefits and there are probably as many potential risks. What if I could uh, sum up everything in one sentence, I don't want to sound glib, but I would say the risks are um, not as bad as people thought they were, mm -hmm. but also the benefits are not as great as people thought they like were. Like a magical pill, right? Yeah, right. Yes. So it is a kind of a mixed bag. If I had to single out a couple of conditions for which uh, most scientists are in agreement that there is uh, substantial evidence or conclusive evidence that uh, cannabis can be at least...